Today, for reference, we're going to be looking at uh, AMCI's ANG1 product uh, connected to the Allen Bradley Microwave 30. AMCI's ANG1 product is an integrated stepper, indexer, and driver uh, that communicates with a PLC or PAC uh, over a network. And uh, to date, the only network available for this product was Ethernet IP. However, what we're looking at is an early sample of AMCI's ANG1 uh, with Modbus RTU connectivity. Um, and what you see here are three of them connected together. And they're communicating via a single connection, which is Modbus RTU, over to the new Allen Bradley Microwave 30 product. A little bit about this drive. Uh, this drive can be purchased separately as a master, which is uh, responsible for the network communication and also incorporates the uh, drive and indexer functionality. Um, and you can purchase slaves, which via serial connection in the back, simply stack alongside the master. And you can stack up to five additional axes, which gives you a total of six axes of motion control with this product over the network. Um, in this case, what we're looking at is, as I mentioned, Allen Bradley's new Microwave 30. And we're using this uh, standard uh, cable plug from Allen Bradley, which is a uh, bolt to number 1763. You can see, right off the shelf, um, standard issue. Uh, this product also, um, being the ANG1, this product, like all the Ames has other motion products that connect to a PLC or PAC. Um, in this case, we'll also program through the new RS Connected Component software. So nothing separate, nothing new to learn, all very integrated, um, a nice seamless motion package for this new guy, the 830. Uh, it's very flexible, uh, not only because it's network connected, but also because it communicates over the network to any uh, PLC or PAC which supports to date Ethernet IP or now, as you can see here, Modbus RTU, but also because it can be connected to stepper motors as small as a frame size 17, single stack, double stack, up to a NEMA size frame 23, all the way up to what you see here, which is a NEMA frame size 34. Um, these motors, for example, are rated at 1,100 ounce inches of torque. It outputs up to 3.4 amps RMS, max current. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see it in action. So you can see here, axis 1, 2, and 3. Pretty straightforward. Um, and again, if we needed to, we could add three more axes of motion. 